This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Hey, Kurt. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Paul. Hey, Dominic. How you guys doing? We're doing wonderful. Thank you. Very good. How Welcome about you to guys? the Kurt Angle Show. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being on, my friends. All right, we're going to get started. First question, Ray. You grew up in the professional wrestling business. And we're pretty much born in this business, weren't you? Yes, pretty much. At a very young age, I was introduced to, to Lucha Libre. Yeah, uh, my mom's younger brother, Ray Mysterio Sr., is uh, the person at fault for, for bringing me into this world of wrestling. Your uncle, right? <laughs> yes, my uncle. Uh -huh. Yes. Very cool. Well, listen, right. You started wrestling at the age of 14 and it gave you all the experience that you could ever want. Was there anything outside of wrestling that you had ever aspired to be, or was it always wrestling? Not, not really. Uh, it's always, it was always wrestling for me. I was obsessed with wrestling. Um, you can only imagine growing up in, in the world of, of Lucha Libre at a very young age, uh, you know, it was literally, uh, like seeing um, these superheroes with masks that they covered their identity. You you weren't able to see them. I wasn't able to see some of my favorite wrestlers growing up without the mask because they were so uh, secretive with their image, uh, including my uncle, until one day he lost the mask. But uh, overall, you know, uh, at a very young age, started training at the age of eight, and then had my professional match, like you said, at 14, it was, uh, it was, this is, this was my world. Wow. Ray, that's pretty awesome. My friend. So your uncle was the one that inspired you to wrestle. Yes. 100%. I remember he would, when I was, uh, when I was a fan, we would go see my uncle wrestle. And sometimes after the shows, I would go spend the weekend with them. He would normally wrestle on Fridays and I would help him take out his gear, his boots and air it all out you know, on the floor, I would put his mask on and, and, uh, kind of play wrestle with him, you know? So, uh, you can only imagine this is a pretty much what Dominic lived as a young kid as well. <laughs> he walked on the same path, huh? <laughs> yeah. I got to ask you're, you're eating, you're rocking that mini pizza. You're sitting there from 12 to one. Who's your favorite WWF wrestler? Who do you, or who, who a couple of them? Macho man, Brett, the Hitman Hart. Um, you know, um, Jake, the snake, uh, I just, it was just a variety. And for me, that was all, um, very different from, from Lucha Libre, you know, uh, um, these were like characters that were developed, like, uh, like seeing a movie, you know, uh, um, these were, uh, uh, beyond, uh, realistic and they were huge, you know, at the time they were huge. So again, because of the, of the weight and just because it was, to me, it was impossible. It wasn't even in my, in my, um, dreams to eventually make it to WWE. So, uh, you know, to be able to, to climb as much as I've climbed up to now has been a true blessing. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.